people that makes this whole World Cup go around. This is Marie Louisa. Thank you, Kate. She, no, Thank you. This is true. Let me give you a little bit of her background really quick. I asked her, I was like, what's your official title? Because I feel that you do everything at the track. So she is officially sports director, but she's the one that puts all the schedules together, where the World Cup's going, all the timing, making sure everyone has their medals, making sure TV is put together. Like, you just... I'm coordinating. I'm coordinating. That's all. Yeah, that's a big job. That's a big job. So I'm, thank you for joining us. She's one of the hardest women to get time with. So we're really lucky to have her. So this weekend in Winterberg, we are doing, we're, we're closing up the sprint competition and we're doing the overall title of all of it. So really quick for viewers that don't understand the sprint, explain the sprint in just a few words. Yeah, the sprint is an additional competition to the classic World Cup, I would say. It's an additional World Cup series, what we are um, carrying out. And, uh, you know, without having the sprint World Cup in the series, in the overall World Cup series, we would have less competitions and uh, less World Championship titles and stuff like that, you know. So it's something in addition. Yes, it's something a little extra, extra that they've added to the World Cup. So in short, pretty much they'll start the timing eye a few curves down the track. So in theory, it gets rid of the start. This plays to the positive for a lot of athletes and plays to the negative for a lot of athletes, just like any good competition. So we see some breakout stars. We've seen like Jonas Mueller. Well, he's now a world champion, so he's not breakout anymore. But at the time, he was a sprint champion which was a big deal whereas in normal world cups it wasn't quite how he was doing so the sprint can open up a field of opportunity for a lot of athletes and then it also can be very frustrating for a lot of athletes so um yeah so we kind of just want to talk about it so what are you, what are your thoughts on it was it really hard to get sprint into like our world cup circuit uh, at the beginning, yeah, not hard, you know, but we, yeah, we had to fight a bit, you know, but finally we made it, you know, and uh, the sprint, um, I mean, you know, um, has a few positive things, you know, everyone can get qualified, it's up to them, it's up to the athletes, you know, everyone can get qualified, and then to be successful in the sprint, of course, you have to make it down clean, means without any driving mistakes. That's the big uh, difference, you know, in compared to the other ones, you know, she still can have a mistake sometimes, you know, a tiny mistake, and you are still successful, you know. In the sprint, you really have to make it down clean. Right. And it, we saw in Oberhof, Diana Eitberger won by one thousandth of a second to become yeah. sprint world champion, which is cool. So yeah. you have some cool, I know you didn't want to talk about this paper, but you have some really good things on this paper that she yes, had, she had, she gathered all her thoughts for us. So yeah, yeah tell us, tell us some of the good info you have about it. I would just like to say that we have uh, quite a few positive uh, aspects. Um, it's a race from the original start heights, which uh, all the athletes want to have. Instead of sliding from women's style, from men, for example. You know. Like they do in the relay. Relay. Then, as I said already, you know, everyone can get qualified in compared to the relay, one per nation, per discipline, you know. Here, everyone. It's that's a good chance. That's know, a good point. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, so meaning with the relay, they only can send the best women, best men and best doubles, whereas you could have two two athletes from a nation compete. If, just a background on that. Yeah. OK, then it is a one run race in compared to the classic World Cup. We have two runs. That's also exciting, you know, then also a small athlete field. We have 15 in each uh, discipline. So that's also different, you know, then, um, you know, which is also, I think, especially for TV, important, you know, that you have after a short time period, you have a result. We have the world champion. Yes. If we go back, if we uh, just go back a few weeks and we're in uh, Oberhof, like uh, two hour race and we had four world champions. That's true. That's exciting. True. Yeah, that's true. It is, it, it is exciting races. So tell us about these globes really quick, these trophies, every athlete wants these bad boys yeah. Do, yeah these are a big deal do you have any of your own are these recent are these recent updated trophies and uh, what do you mean in the sprint yeah like you know how some medals they've had like over the course of all the years of sliding yeah, yeah, yeah. no no they are new they are brand new now you know like they are in addition you know wow. it's yeah. very cool so for you really quick i'll, I'll let you go because i know you have a lot of things to do but when if let's imagine you were sliding right now do you think you would love the sprint? Do you think the sprint would work to your advantage? Or yes. do you think? 
Yes, definitely because I was not so um, let's so not so strong at the start, but I was a good slider, you know, making it down the hill. So um, yeah. I like this sprint definitely, yeah. Okay, very cool. Thank you so much for joining us. There you have it. That was some really good info about the sprint. I didn't know about it. Um, thank you. I'm going to keep this with, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep that paper with me. So essentially it's a, it's a new uh, discipline within the World Cup. More money's given out, more medals, more trophies, just another opportunity for athletes to be races. successful and more races. races. Thank you. It's so most important, you know, for all athletes. That's true. More people can join in on the sprint and everything. So anyways, thank you for joining us. Maybe we can grab you for some more uh, uh, FIL studio stuff because she's yeah. she's the literally she's the brains behind everything so thank you so much Maria Luisa now here's the face to the woman as to why all of us even have jobs and why there's even athletes here for all these World Cups. Kate you're welcome thank you.